Whatever. What? What? Are you mad? You mad? Oh, you're mad. Bud. Bud, are you mad? Bud, are you mad? Chico. And there's Bud over there. There's Bud. Buddy boy. There's Buddy boy. This is what I'm dealing with. Got this one. Lay down. Lay down like you were. You were laying down. There. You were laying down like that. Go ahead. You're fine. Lay down. Lay your head down. No. <laughs> you were fine, bud. You were laying your head down like that. There. No. That's that's not what you were doing. Lay down. <laughs> And here's Kiko. 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 There's Kiko. Kiko's looking outside. Let's see if there's anything good going on out there. It's hot. It's hot outside. Guys, I can tell you that much. It's hot. Sadie is... She's fine. She's relaxing, huh? Yeah. Oh, Sadie. Yeah. <sighs> Bud. Bud was relaxing, but he just can't help it. Just can't help it, huh? Go ahead. <laughs> Bud. There we go. Relaxing, Bud. <laughs> But can't help it. place in Shafter they this guy has a bunch of uh, buckets and attachments and I'm going to be looking for for something that'll go on that 290 because um, the bucket that they have on that thing is a little loose it's got the wrong size pins so I'm gonna come out here in the hopes that they these guys might have a uh, something that'll work in lieu of the one that's on that thing until we can get until we get that one on there modified. And that'd be the one that we looked at in Tracy that we just picked up. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just gotta make sure that thing's gonna work for us next week when we start on that job. Well, I found it. This is the spot I was looking for. And uh, as you can see, he's got a lot of buckets here. He's not here on a Saturday, but uh, this is the place, uh, this is the spot I was, I came down here a long time ago and bought a bucket off this guy, and um, I can't remember the name of the company, nothing's marked out here, so, and there's like no phone number, which kind of sucks, but uh, I'm gonna have to catch this guy out here during the week, I think, when he's here, and uh, he's got, he's definitely probably got a bucket for me, I can see 
that's actually probably the right size pin right there on that one it's just these larger pins is what i need for the uh yeah all of the well those are smaller ones but uh he's definitely got a few of them here with the larger pins so i think he might have something that'll work for me we might get lucky out today not too not too bad but a little bit warmer out you ready to get a foxtail bud <clears throat> well Relatively, everything looks pretty good out here. The old sheep camp trailer. So those are the trucks that we recovered a couple months back, Colin and I. This 415 is going to be heading to Mammoth here in the next couple weeks. Probably the next trip up. Looks like that tire's getting a little low on that one. Oh, these birds did a number on my seat. old case 450 d's pretty handy little dozers that one there needs a little bit of love actually they both need a little bit but this one the uh i rebuilt the whole front so the six-way blade it's all new it's got brand new tracks on it that's actually those are actually brand new tracks and uh it's ready to build something One of these days, we'll get those set up somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. So I got these old trucks over here. I gotta probably just, <clears throat> they all run, but they've been sitting for so long. I think we just need to find somebody that needs them more than I do. I got three of them here. That one's got a Detroit uh, diesel in it. This Hydra crane. It's actually a functions, fully functioning Hydra crane here. Couldn't really take it on a job. Last time, last time it was running on the road, it looks like around 2003. So pretty much been sitting out at this ranch for 20 years or more. But it's be handy for out here, just, you know, lifting stuff up, loading it in the back of the truck, stuff like that. Got these water tanks and stuff. I don't know what we're gonna do here.
definitely dried up out here. Just gonna go see if the river's still going. I'm pretty sure it is. This is the pad I built. For the off-grid house that I wanna put. So out here, it goes about a mile that way, but uh, if we decided to put a track Definitely do a big outdoor track right there. And then this down here is like all the parking where I was actually gonna make like RV slots all the way around. So that'd be pretty cool. And uh, all the rigs can come in, they can set up right here. And then Plenty of room for multiple tracks, you know, a couple big outdoor tracks, possibly a uh, super cross track somewhere. May have to level out an area and do that, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really neat piece of property. Perfect for off-road stuff. I can see the river is still full way over there. So I've said it before, that's usually dry. This time of year, that thing's full of water. I mean, there's a lot of water there. It's probably at its full capacity right now. Look at those foothills. Even brown, they're still, they definitely have a, a unique um, character out here to this land. You can see quite a lot of elevation change here. I mean, all of this area is all open ground. We're about a third of the way back. It goes, like I said, it goes a mile back that way. That's where I keep the trailer up there. And that's where everybody parks. They bring uh, the toys out. It's our local place where we get our meat sometimes. And uh, we're gonna get some ribs and some chicken today. So gonna do a Father's Day barbecue. Last time I that's what I thought I got. I got Kiko, 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 <laughs> you're funny, Kiko, Kiko. All right, so got the baby backs here. And uh, went ahead and picked up some thighs, some yellow thighs, and then I got a prime New York that we're gonna do. So I got the seasoning going here and we're going to uh, 
Probably gonna do this stuff here for the ribs. Try a little bit of that spicy. Never tried this one, so um, that's the seasoning I'm gonna use for the for that prime New York. So we got the grill up and running out here. So we're running uh, right at 300. I need to get it. I need to get it down to about just under 250, maybe like two and a quarter. That's what I'm looking for for the ribs. And I'll make a, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those here in a minute. It's a warm day, we might have to get in the pool. I know Sadie's already been in the pool this morning, but uh, it's definitely warmed up. So we might be getting in the pool. Look at the bloom on that tree. That's very pretty. Our palm trees are, uh, they're in need of a little bit of a haircut. Uh, we're not here a whole lot, so. Can only be in so many places at once, right? Okay, so we got the seasoning on. Everybody knows I, I like to do my butter. So we're gonna do that. And then I'll, I'll wrap this up with the foil, make like a boat and we will put it on the grill probably about three and a half to four hours at the low temperature. And then once I get done with that, I'm going to bust this out and I'll, I'll baste it. I'll take it out and baste it. And then I'll do my version of a reverse sear. So it'll be pretty much cooked, but I'll, I'll, I'll coat it really good with this. And then I'll, I'll sear that into the into the meat so it'll give it a little bit of that flavor at the end and uh hopefully these things turn out pretty good okay so got the steak the prime new york seasoned up and uh sadie and bud are out here they're gonna keep an eye on my barbecue going So I'm right at a little over 250, which is good. I'm, I'm trying to get the temperature down and uh, got my ribs in my little foil boat here. The butter's starting to melt. So that'll help tenderize the, the meat. And um, yeah, Lori's brother actually kind of showed me the, the boat thing with the ribs a long time ago and uh it really works good and I, I like to try different variations of it so sometimes i'll i'll sear those ribs in the beginning and then put them in there in the boat and slow cook them or in this case i'm going to slow cook them and then um, after about three and a half four hours i'm going to pull them out let them rest for just a minute and then i'll braise it with that that barbecue sauce and uh, that should make a, a real good flavor on it so uh, basically they call it a reverse sear it's it's my version of it but yeah so Lori's getting a few things at the store right now we're going to uh, make some stuff up and her parents are coming over and the kids are coming over so we're gonna do uh, a little Father's Day weekend barbecue and maybe even get in the pool and uh, just enjoy ourselves a bit before we head back to God's country in Mammoth and uh, it'll be back to work next week. So our poor little bonsai tree, I'm really worried about it. We haven't really been able to, uh, we haven't been giving it the care that it really needs and um, it looks like it might not make it. I don't know what to do here. Uh, if anybody knows, please leave me some ideas in the comments. I don't know why it's getting brown. We're not putting it in direct sunlight. We've fed it. The uh, It's moist. I even have this little water bottle that um, it's good water. And I just started doing this. Just kind of hopefully the the it'll absorb some of the water through that and maybe uh it can it'll come back i really don't want to lose this thing 
This tree is 10 years old and yeah, it's just, I don't want to lose it. It's not doing good. If anybody knows anything about these little bonsais, let me know in the comments what I should do. Cause I'm not really sure here. Bud sunning, hanging out with Kiko. Sadie's decided to get in the pool. She loves to get in that pool. Huh, Sado? Oh yeah, that pool feels good. I think I might even get in. It's not bad at all. I think I'll get in here in a little bit. All right. This was our little garden area. We didn't get to do a garden this year. Unfortunately, we just don't have the time and we don't spend enough time here. We had our big tomato plants right there last year. And uh, it was a cool little garden area that we had going but we're just never we're not home enough to maintain it so we decided not to do it this year hopefully one of these days we'll be able to settle down but uh i think we got a lot of traveling to do and a lot of things to show you guys on the channel now that uh the channel's taken off the way it has it's been a blessing and uh it gives us the ability to you know, have a little more freedom. You know, we can actually, uh, we go on these trips and um, it's, it's just awesome that we can share it with you. And I'm glad that everybody enjoys going along with us. So we're gonna keep doing it and uh, hopefully everything will just keep getting better and better. Sadie's happy. She's definitely a water, a water dog. So we finally got this waterfall working properly too. It's a relaxing uh, sound out here by the pool, sitting with the waterfall going. What it was, this, there's a filter inside of that. And it actually was, uh, very old and it had a rip in it too which i don't know why but for some reason that was causing that waterfall to uh just run at the very minimum that it could do so it's going good now Buddy boys, what are you doing? All right guys, so we got garlic butter with uh, Lori did some fresh cloves and chopped them all up for me. So what I'm gonna do is, she also made this. This is our uh, signature, what do we call it? Pico. Pico. So, just doing some potatoes. Got the bacon going over here. That's for the potatoes. I'm gonna make this. So I'm going to brush this on and then put the Parmesan and we're gonna put that in the oven. And we'll see how that comes out. Okay, so I got the brush and we brushed all the garlic on like that. So you can see it's all nice, a good, nice coating of uh, garlic and butter there. Now we're gonna do the um, Parmesan on the top. So we'll just grab a little bit and we'll put a little bit on each 
on each one. And we'll throw that in the oven at probably about 350, 400, somewhere in there. And that's gonna be, uh, this is our version of bruschetta. So we got the, uh, the pico mix over there, freshly made. And then once we get these browned in the oven for just a bit, um, we'll top it with that pico. It's gonna make a really nice little appetizer. Whatever. And there's Bud over there. <laughs> So those are that truck that was running on the road, it looks like. Sorry. Kiko. Kiko. <laughs> okay, so got the steak, the prime New York seasoned up. Okay, so we got the bacon. That's how the bread came out. Not bad. It's uh, something a little different. And then we're putting, uh, top it with this here. It's pretty good. Okay, so here we go, guys. Look at those. I just put these on. I'm gonna cook these. I basted that steak and with some garlic butter. So that should be pretty good. And uh, those, I'm gonna do my little reverse sear process that I do. 